Hello, welcome to this video from TimeVaryingLights.com. I'm Dan Bennett, and in this video, I'm going to teach you the technique of mirror jiggling. For those of you who've had a look at my other video on eyeball jiggling and been uh, dismayed <laughs> and unable to reproduce that technique, don't worry. This is the video that's going to allow you to see time varying light sources um, with just very simple equipment, in this case, a mirror. The point of a of vision jiggling, whether it's eyeball jiggling or mirror jiggling, is to take the image of a time varying light source and translate it across your retina. If you, if you imagine this is the retina at the back of the eye, if I'm looking straight at a time varying light source, then every time that light source flashes, it's going to hit the same part of my retina. Well, with vision jiggling, what you're doing is you're making successive flashes move across your retina, which gives you a transient trace, which allows you to see, albeit briefly, but very clearly, what that time varying light source is doing over time. It works really well for things like uh, LED tail lights on cars, LED street lights, um, fluorescent tubes of certain kinds, neon tubes, CRT televisions, that kind of thing. If you can't move your eyes like this, then what you're going to need is a mirror. This is uh, not my mirror, this is my daughter's mirror. She is kindly lending it to me for the, for the occasion. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to use this mirror to cause the image of a time varying light to move across your retina. In this case, instead of moving your eyes, you're going to be moving your fingers or your arms. Let's say that the video camera is in fact a time varying light source. It isn't, but let's say I'm looking straight at it and I want to see its behavior using a mirror. How would I do that? The answer is, I put the mirror just below my eye, maybe even rest my thumb on my cheekbone. I tilt the mirror downwards through about 45 degrees and I look into the mirror at the light source. You should be able to see my eye in the mirror if you look carefully. Then if I move the mirror like this, I am moving the image of the light source across my retina and I will be able to see that trail developing on my retina which will give me the trace that I'm looking for that lets me see what the time varying light source is doing. So the technique, remember, is to move the mirror like this smoothly and rapidly, oscillate the mirror to move that light source across your retina. It's very easy. Some people find it difficult to do it with their fingers and might find it easier doing, say, a sideways motion like this by moving their arms. Notice my fingers aren't doing the work. I'm using my arms. Of course, people might think you're crazy when you're doing this out on the street, but hey, there's a free world. So that's the essence of mirror jiggling. Put the mirror under your eye, look down into it, and rock as follows. Now, not everybody carries a mirror with them all the time, but I'll bet almost everybody is carrying a cell phone with them. Turns out that a cell phone, while not a perfect mirror, is certainly good enough for the job. So you can put a cell phone under your eye and rock it like that or like that, and you will see the trace developing on your retina. So that in a nutshell is how you do mirror jiggling in order to see time varying light sources. It's a technique that works very well and um, I, I encourage you to check out the other videos on my website timevaryinglights.com and also of course to have a look at the book A Field Guide to Time Varying Light Sources. Thanks for watching.